Hey, it's Josh Bowman here from Bowman Lawyers, just outside Katoomba, uh, local court up in the Blue Mountains. It's an absolutely freezing and windy day here in uh, uh, 26th of June. Uh, 2023 but I've uh, just gone inside to a warm um, uh, and receptive uh, matter today where we got a really good outcome for our client. Uh, basically our client um, had been charged with a middle range drink driving offence 0.099. Um, the aggravating thing about this matter was that um, she unfortunately did have her 11 year old son in the car as a passenger. Um, so that slightly aggravated the matter, but she was pulled over for the purpose of a random breath test, not due to her manner of driving. Uh, my client's a high school teacher. She's got three young kids, uh, all with varying degrees of mental health issues. So um, she does have a rather uh, tough and tumultuous life going on. Uh, in the lead up to her um, incident, um, uh, she had had an extremely stressful week. Her youngest daughter had been placed on new medication. That had not gone as planned. Um, the night before the incident, uh, she had gone to her and her husband were airbnb being their home out uh, for the weekend to get some extra funds. Um, and uh, the cleaner at the last minute had canceled. So they spent all night cleaning the house. The next day, the client was taking her children to and from their sporting activities. Um, and um, the night prior they had stayed on a property um, uh, camping with some friends. Uh, she returned back to the campsite to pack up and uh, for between about 4 p.m. till 6.30 p.m. she had uh, three glasses of champagne uh, whilst packing up. Um, she left it an hour and a half before getting into the car to go home um, and uh, was pulled over for the random breath test. Um, she was actually placed in the back of a paddy wagon, which is quite unusual for a, uh, a person charged with DUI, especially a mother um, and someone who is cooperative and uh, compliant with police with no uh, criminal background. I thought this was quite an excessive step for the police. But it was certainly a harrowing experience for my client to have to uh, be placed into the back of a paddy wagon um, uh, with her uh, son with her who was um, um, uh, quite emotional at the time as well. Um, so we um, present the matter today before the court. Our client got some great material, uh, a letter from her boss, um, a, a family friend, uh, a letter from the church pastor, um, a, a good strong letter of apology uh, and she did the traffic offenders program and also a letter from the family psychologist so there was a lot of material to play with um, we obviously presented the matter to the court to outline the difficulties of not being able to drive she has a one hour commute to work from where she lives to where she works um, she needs to drive for work and with three young children with varying degrees of mental health issues um, getting them to Um, we really did push for her to be able to keep her licence today and uh, we were successful in um, persuading the court to deal with this matter by way of a no conviction. Um, she was given a conditional release order for 12 months. Um, so that's like a good behaviour bond, but she will not receive a conviction, no fine, no further disqualification and won't have to do the interlock program. This does not always happen is usually about a 20% chance of it happening. But all the uh, facts and um, circumstances of this matter certainly did line up and we were able to show how our client's um, strong subjective case was exceptional and different to the average drink driving matter that usually appears before the court. So thanks for tuning in here today at K cold old Katoomba uh, local court up in the Blue Mountains. I want to thank you for tuning into Borman Lawyers today. You can catch us at any of the usual social media platforms. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to contact us on 1300 941 900. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this video today. I really hope it was informative and helpful for you. There's another couple of videos below that you might want to check out that may be very useful for the process that you might be going through at the moment. 
Please feel free to like, follow, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've always got fresh new content coming through all the time.